que está, está nevando, eh, hace, eh, hace un 3 grados y una sensación térmica de menos 1 grado, eh, pero la verdad es que no estoy, no estoy muy mal. <risa> After a week of little cycling around the industrial area, I was hitting the north in the two biggest national parks in England. The weather didn't want to make things easier, but I was in the perfect mood. Yorkshire Dales is a park known for its limestone shapes and valleys. It was cool and hailing most of the day, but it went sunny in the evening. After nine hours on the bike, I found a perfect place for camping. Eh, aquí estoy en un granero abandonado. No creo que se pueda ver nada, pero la verdad es que tengo bastante suerte. No sé a ver si habrá algún bichillo por ahí, algún ratón o algo ratilla, pero si no he tenido una suerte del copón, porque hoy va a llover a muerte. Y yo creo que me voy a salvar de eso. Así que hace frío, hace mucho frío. Pero espero que mi saco de dormir aguante. Así que nada. The following morning I met an absolutely different and white world. I climbed up to a peak to see a glacial lake, however, everything was so snowy I couldn't find the way. I went to Lancaster, where I rested a day before going again for another adventure. Lake District, the biggest national park in England, welcomed me in a sunny and beautiful day. The white summits were so calling, but first I cycled by the largest lake in the country, Windermere. After sleeping overnight in a hostel, I took off with a long and, I hoped, amazing day before me. Voy a ir por sendero, así voy a tener que ir bien, eh, ir con la bici a cuesta o... Quitarme el equipaje y ponérmelo en la espalda, no sé. Pero según Google Maps, me esperan como 7 u 8 horas de ejercicio. Y como tengo que comer y todo eso, no puedo hacerlo de golpe. Pero nada, no sé que nada. I was cycling towards Scaffold Park, the highest peak in England. But before that, I had to climb many hills and passes. Every sweat drop was worth it. And after a hill up comes a hill down. The beauty kept my mood bright. And when I saw Scuffle Pike. The only thing I thought was getting up there. Eh, recogiendo fuerzas para subir al, al pico, cuando ha pasado un señor y me ha dicho, ah, ¿piensas subir la bicicleta al pico? Y yo creo que no, o sea, definitivamente no puede o te va a llevar, eh, hemos estado hablando y me ha dicho, te va a llevar toda la noche, porque... Porque es muy duro eh, andando y cargando una bicicleta, pues que es casi imposible. I needed to cross all that central mountains. Without any tent, my only option was a bothy that was on the other side. I spent two miserable hours carrying and pushing the bike up to a pass that was even difficult 
for hikers. And after that, I found myself on a high and beautiful plateau with a glacial lake. And after an exhausting but magical day, I found the Bothy. The following morning, I left behind what I think it is the most beautiful place in England.